Okay, all right, real quick. It's getting frosty out there. What do you do to your mirrors before you pull out of here? Clean them. All right, whenever you're driving down the road and you're laid down, you got a skid steer on there, um, do you travel at a high or a low rate of speed? Low, low, rate. low rate of speed. Drive like a granny. If someone's not flagging you a bird, you're going too fast. Um, anticipate the red light. Anticipate the red light. That is so important. And, and what, what made me think about that is I looked at the S450 and, and I saw the front brakes that just looked like they had gotten really hot. So um, just be aware of that. When we brake, there's a principle of two finger braking. This principle came from when we had a much lighter truck that was loaded down with a skid steer. We're coming for the turnaround, going downhill. I completely stopped the truck with two fingers. Now, I didn't do it in 25 yards. I did it very, very slowly. If you can anticipate the light and you just let the rolling resistance of the truck slow you down, that will keep you a lot safer. Um, whenever you have a, a trailer hooked to your truck, what do you look at between the trailer and the truck? Yeah, yeah. I saw. Um, I was on six. I was looking at TikTok. Mentioned the most important thing. Make sure the latch is hooked. Yes, thank you. The latch has to be hooked. I got more safety pins. Put them on the trailer that was here. So if your trailer's not have a safety pin, let me know. Y'all, I saw on TikTok the other day. I don't know how someone filmed this, but there was a big, like, 18-foot trailer. It was sort of like our version, but it was an over-the-wheels one, and just looked like it was in Colorado came unhooked, rolling downhill, went into the other lane, the cars go around and went into a parking lot and went right up on top of two cars. Yeah. That's a bad day. That's, out, that's what we, and you saw the truck, the truck backing up trying to catch it and that just wasn't going to happen. That's what we, that, that's what, and if they caught it, it wasn't going to do any good. Um, that will never, 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 never happen. Um, okay, so what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to go out there and maybe get your phone, set your watch, or whatever. And I want you to spend about 10 minutes just going through your truck, organizing things, cleaning them up. Sam and I are going to go out there and we're going to inspect it. Um, we're going to try to communicate our expectations to you about how we want your truck to be. And I'm going to try to have the discipline of doing this regularly with you so that we get in the habit of doing that. So, so dedicate a little bit of time to that, and we'll be out in about 10 minutes. The only thing on the hitches, the hitches was holding the receiver on the truck, make sure that pin's there too. Didn't we yeah. throw one out the other day, or the pin was off of the clip? Yes. Yeah, so that'd be a bad day if that whole receiver pulls out. And, you, and, 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 and I hate to say it, I've had that happen to me, yeah. and it was it was my own dumb fault. But the little clip was off of the pin, yeah. very easy to work out. Yeah. Yeah. Just walk around, just like an airplane pilot guy taking off, he checks his flaps and does all that stuff. Before you drive out of here, check your truck. All right, go get them. We'll be out there for inspection in a little bit.